Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Looking at the Australian dollar, the market has found a temporary base. Now, the reason I believe the market's found a base there is that if you look at this shoulder, head and shoulder, the measured move from the head to the neckline and from the break of the neckline gave us a target of 70.20. Well, on Friday, we posted a low of 70.10, and from there, the market rebounded. Now, we could see another squeeze up towards the level of 70.80.85, but I feel beyond there and up towards the region of 71 and a quarter may struggle, and therefore could see the market turn around and look back towards the bottom side of the range. There has been a lot of talk recently about the RBA maybe uh, lowering interest rates in their next meeting next week on Tuesday. And the reason behind that is uh, there was some hints from Deputy Guy DeBell when he spoke last week. And also there is speculation from the economists that uh, it's either going to be in November or even as soon as October for a possible rate cut that would send the Aussie slightly in a dovish mode and therefore see a decline. Now we close under 70 cents and cut the level of 69.85 Gives me a target of 69 cents and reassess. With the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, surging to around the 94.5 area, sorry, and the euro has continued to play a softer play into the market. And as you can see, the break of 117.5 does give further concerns that we could see 115 as an objective and they reassess from there. As we get closer to the top side of the range of 105.90 figure since the rejection of 104 and the bullish short side range day, the market has shown some hesitancy. And also the fact is we've got a bit of a weak signal from the MACD and the RSI has turned back to the midway point. If we have seen a rejection from Friday's rally, then we would see a further weaker play into this week and therefore see yen strengthen against the US dollar. Let's see how it plays into tonight. And if we do get a break of the, uh, the midway point on the other side, further risk is down towards the region of 104. Sterling now contesting this short-term trend and at the moment being contained by it. At present though, I'm not going to get too bearish on this market because the fact is there is some divergence and from that divergence could see a break to the upside. Only a short term and I feel the market may actually head on towards this region of around 128 but overall bearish sentiment should continue. This would see the pressure back towards the top side of the range around 135 and not to sustain. I still feel the market is looking down towards 131. Gold is still somewhat heavy and can fall back towards the, uh, this bullish trend support or where the bull's lair may hold, that is where the camp is, towards that level of 1,820.25. Let's see if the market can stage a rebound from there. Wrapping up with oil, well, the market is a little bit softer into today, but the, nevertheless, this candle that represents bull should continue to keep the motion towards the upside, either to 41 or 42.80.90 area. Well, that's a wrap for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report and hope you enjoy the great start to this new week.